Coming up on this edition of Abel Den on Air, we talk about the global housing crisis and how can we fix it. According to the World Economic Forum, all that and much more on Abel Den on Air. Stay tuned. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel Den On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on abilities despite the disabilities. I'm Lauren Seiler. On this um, fantastic edition and educational edition of Ableton On Air, we go through the world housing crisis. How can we fix it? And um, according to organizations like the World Economic Forum, uh, I'm Lauren Seiler, Arlene's not here today. Uh, we focus on global housing and people with disabilities, people with special needs, and all the world. Uh, housing is a problem when you, um, you know, are, are having a severe crunch. Um, uh, 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 let's get started. Um, well, this is according to 2022 data but housing crunch, housing crisis is housing crisis, really. What has caused the global housing crisis? For more information on this article, you can go to www.weforumagenda um, forward slash uh, 2022. What has caused the global housing crisis and how, and how, and how can we fix it? The housing crisis could impact or has impacted 1.6 billion people by 2025, according to the World Bank. Shortages um, of land, lending labor, and uh, materials are some of the fueling factors of the housing crisis. The world needs to build 96,000 new affordable homes every day to, to house the estimated 3 billion people, I'll repeat that again, 3 billion people who need access to adequate housing by the year 2030, according to the UN Habitat, um, United Nations Habitat, which is similar to Habitat for Humanity, but that deals with um, the United Nations. 
efforts to build more affordable homes are underway in countries including United States, India, Scotland, and Africa. Housing is based on a human need, but lack of affordable housing to buy or rent or um, fueling a global housing crisis. By 2025, 1.6 billion people are expected to be affected by the global housing shortage, according to the World Bank. Um, and as you can see, there's um, there's a graph here and who governs that. Um, so, in most countries, the cost of housing has grown faster than incomes data from the International uh, Monetary Fund. A study shows 200 cities globally, 90% were found to be unaffordable to live in, and an average costing income of more than three times the income average. The United States alone is short of 1.5 million homes. I'll repeat that again. The United States alone is short of 1.5 million homes, according to a study by the financial research company Moody's Analytics. The country has less housing for sale than rent any time in the past 30 years, uh, finds the study. Overcoming a nation's daunting housing supply shortage. Now, according to this graph, which is house price to income ratio around the world, house price to income ratio around the world, housing prices have grown faster than incomes in most countries. According to a 2020 Q4 study that's available um, in the index 2000, in, between 2015 and 2023. Um, and as you can see here, according to this graph, uh, by, um, by the problems in the world, um, so the countries are down or across, and then and then the, the graph is going up, uh, or up or down. So, you know, that presents a huge problem. What has caused the housing crisis? A shortage of land, lending labor, and materials since the financial crisis of 2008 are the main causes of the U.S. shortage in M Moody study finds. This has driven up cost cut profit, profit margins. Builders can make and have less incentives to build homes, particularly lower priced housing, lower margins, uh, mood analytics say. say. Uh, COVID-19 is considered to have made a housing crisis worse as buyers and renters look for more space during lockdowns. Historically, low interest rates in many countries have made it cheap to borrow money. This has fulfilled the phenomenon. Um, so for more information on this crisis, um, you can go to www.weform.com. Dot org. That website, once again, is www.weforum.org. W-E-F-O-R-U-M dot org. Um, what are the impacts of housing crisis? House prices <clears throat> globally have risen at a fast rate in the last 40 years as demand has been outstripped, supplied, according to Research from financial services firm J.P. Morgan. Rents are 
rents are soaring in Europe. For example, rents across all home. Uh, hold on. Man. Rents according to all home types have risen one uh fourteen point five percent in the first three months, and um, in the first three months of this year finds the Housing Anywhere International Rent Index by city. So, let me go to that uh, situation so you can find it. It's Housing Anywhere International by the city. Um, so, if you need housing, you can go to www.housinganywhere.com dot com. That's www.housinganywhere.com. Housing Anywhere's rent index confirms consecutive slowdown. So it's basically, it, you know, dealing with business, rent, so on and so forth. And you, if you have a problem, you can contact this informational website. And there are, um, there's a website for that www.housinganywhere.com That's www.housinganywhere.com And um, so we'll be back after this public service announcement right after this. Stay tuned. Three, two, one. So um, welcome back. The most highly priced cities for rooms and studios. So if you look at this, uh, according to this graph here, um, for example, Amsterdam, which is a country, uh, their price is $2,200 for a studio uh, a, a apartment, and they can go from 940 to 1570 um, so and so forth. So if you have, if you have anything you want to find about housing on this graph, um, so I'm going to pick a, um, situation. So if you want to say go to Budapest, an apartment would cost you $902, a room would be the three, Mm, the 300, a room would be 300, um, th uh, I'm sorry, yeah, a room, a room would be 340, studios would be 550, um, so that's the low end, and then it can go into the high end as well. Uh, and again, um, <clears throat> if a place doesn't have a housing program, you usually sometimes can find, um, you know, find an apartment, so on and so forth. So for more information on this, you can go to www.housinganywhere.housinganywhere um, <clears throat> uh, forward slash, um, uh, uh, forward slash, uh, Hold on, www.housinganywhere.com forward slash rent index. So, um, yeah, the housing crisis has been a severe problem for people with disabilities. Again, I'm giving you the website, www.capstone.org. That's www.capstonevt.org. If um, Capstone... Um, Usually what they do is they give you like first month's rent, last month's rent, so on and so forth, so you can get yourself on your feet for this. And, um, you know, um, and, you know, there's a housing graph, so I'm going to go over this again. Um, if you have, if you, if, according to this depending on the money exchange. You have to make a certain amount of money to qualify for housing, public housing, 
so let's go for example if you want to rent a studio apartment um yeah so if you want to rent a studio apartment it's a certain amount of money if you want to rent a room it's a certain amount of money if you want to rent um you know a regular apartment instead of some special arrangements you can um check that out as well and um you know it's extremely important to find um appropriate housing for people with disabilities so that, so let's go to another website here According to the United Nations, the Universal De Declaration of Human Rights recognizes the right of adequate standard housing and standard living for which consists of housing and the right to security in the event of a disability. As a non-binding non resolution adapted by the UN General, uh, gen the UN General Assembly, and the UN uh, um, and the U.S. Uh, State Party as the UDHR. So let's go to this. Um, according to the UNHR, and for more information on this, you can go to www lawblogs.uc.edu uh, and according to international law. In addition, international treaties are provided on the grounds for a housing in, in the event of a disability. I was looking for that. Uh, standard living, which consists of housing and the right for security in the event of a disability as a non-binding resolution adopted by the UN General um, Assembly and the U.S. State Party of UDHR. However, the U.S. has not largely ratified the legally binding treaties recognizing the right for adequate housing and the International Covenant, uh, uh, Covenant Bill on the um, Civil and Political Rights, ICCPR, which are U.S. ratified, um, according to the according to this, the United States hasn't really done too much for people with housing. That's why we have a problem. Um, domestic practice, unfortunately, these protections for persons with disabilities created by the United uh, by the United States domestic law do not um, are not adequate to implement a right adequate housing for persons with disabilities. In the U.S., 25%, only 25% of adults, one in 61 million people possesses a disability. Among disabled individuals, 13.7% possess a, mobi a mobility disability, 46 percent presents a vision disability, and 3.7% 6% have a health care related disability. When reforming, uh, and this is before we leave uh, the show, when reforming uh, legislation and policy of, uh, of to accommodate all types of disability, policy makers must accommodate for the needs of uh, adults over 65 years old and older women and non-Hispanic Americans um, uh, and, and um, um, Alaskan Natives are at least 40% of the population group identified as disabled. In January of 2017, 24% of 87 of 87,000 individuals of people are, are experiencing homelessness possessed a disability and um, 
experience chronic homelessness. Chronic homelessness includes individuals who were homeless for at least a year, <clears throat> a year or experience uh, at least four periods of homelessness, adding to 12 months in their lifetime. Uh, so for more information on that, you can go to www.lawblogsuc.edu. That's lawblogs.uc.edu. Uh, housing, so, so I'm going to say this. Housing is a human right. Housing is a problem for people with disabilities, and we must uh, get this problem resolved. Otherwise, we'll have more homeless people in the streets than we want. Um, homeless people are people too, but when you don't have adequate housing, that presents an issue, and um, it all comes down to money. When people with disabilities can't afford things, especially food and housing, it's a problem. Uh, this has been uh, a program on the housing crisis and also a commentary on the housing crisis. I'm Lauren Seiler. Stay warm, get adequate housing, and please call your local official when it deals uh, uh, when you're dealing with housing issues. I'm Lauren Seiler. Arlene's not here today. Thank you to our sponsors and partners. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx, Abel Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.